All right, uh, time for something a little different for you folks. Um, I've launched Caden Live here, and I'm going to be doing just a small video here on how to make it work or how to work with it. Um, I'm going to be going for like an old timey type, maybe intro or or just a cue card there for my live streams, whatnot. You'll see a lot of different settings here and that. Um, in fact, there's a lot of different. Uh, categories here for the uh, for the plugins and everything. There's GPU effects. You can do your chroma keys, your rotoscoping, everything like that. Um, so really, I mean, especially for beginners, this is a great replacement for uh, uh, Premiere Pro if you guys are used to that. Um, but it has some additional effects in there that I have not seen in Premiere Pro. But then again, I've not used Premiere Pro in years, so. Forgive me if I am a little incorrect on that. But uh, a couple of things, you'll notice my environment here is pretty dark. That is, actually is the default for 18.04, but I'm in 18.08, and the default for that is actually um, the Breeze, which is a lighter color. I like the Breeze Dark. That's the one I'm using right now. Um, now I'll put a link in the, down in the description to the download for 18.08. It's a it's a lot more responsive. It's a lot more stable. So I definitely recommend that you check that out. Um, their download page hasn't updated to include it yet, but it is in the downloads directory uh, through through KDE. But uh, I am on Windows, as you can see. Um, you know, nothing too uh, nothing too crazy here. Minimize, minimize. Yeah, just on Windows. Uh, empty my recycle bin. Yes, I want to delete those items. Thank you. But anyway, um, first thing I'm going to end up doing, though, you'll see I got some images here. I'm going to open up GIMP. Uh, the newest version of GIMP is actually really fast as well, especially for starting up. Um, if you're used to previous versions, you'll notice that it usually hangs when it's trying to check for new fonts. Definitely a lot faster now. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to drop in this test pattern here. I picked this up from right here. This is Pixabay. Um, royalty free images. Uh, this one has a not an attribution license, but um, just that I want to point out this place. It is amazing. Um, 1.5 million royalty free stock photos. Um, so yeah, I got this uh, nice image here that I'm going to be using. Now, one thing I would like to do is get rid of this centerpiece here. So there we go. And then we're going to take my head and we're going to stick that on here. Uh, it's going to be a little blurry, but that's okay. We can probably, we'll shift A, probably use one of our here. Let's see here. We want to pixelate this, don't we? Which I think is going to be in the enhance. Just sharpen. Oh, no wonder. There's a new layer there. What? Let's try that again. We're going to do the... All right, yeah, that looks a lot better now. And we're just going to take our resize tool here. We're going to shrink this down. Click on the center there. Hold our shift key so we keep it in place. Or keep the, the aspect ratio there. And we should be good. Go ahead and scale that. We're good there. And we'll go ahead and make another layer here. And we're just going to fill it with... We're going to fill it with white, and we're going to stick that down below. Okay, I think we're good there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and export. Ace test. Okay, so now we have our image that we're going to try and work with here. So let's go ahead and we're going to import this. Let's go ahead and drag that in. By default, it'll be a five second clip. We can go ahead and drag that right into our timeline. We can extend it if we want. And if we hit spacebar, we can basically get a preview of what it looks like. 
So what are we going to be doing with this? Well, first off, we're going to take the color and we're going to put this on a grayscale. So now if we take a look, it's going to be grayscale. And then we're going to go ahead and put a sepia or sepia, however you want to pronounce that. Now, I haven't figured out exactly what these are yet. Oop. Okay. Yeah, we don't want purple. Eh, getting close. Yeah, I think that looks about right. I want to look at my favorites real quick. Let's go ahead and grab this vignette effect. We can we loop the clip. There we go. That'll make things a lot easier for us. Okay, so we have this vignette. Let's go ahead and close that in here. Oh, that's going to be too much. That's not enough. There we go. We're starting to get there. Okay, now for some effects here. Uh, see what the default wave looks like. Okay, yeah, that's going to be a little strong here. So let's go ahead and turn that amplitude down to maybe two. One. That's good too. This way it kind of looks like it's on a distorted television here. And we're also going to add in some scratch lines. We can kind of see them coming in there. Add in this old film effect. So now the screen kind of jitters up and down here. You'll notice the, uh, the lighting kind of flickers as well, but I don't want it that much. Let me see here. Okay, so we're, we're getting there. We're getting there. We can also add a little bit of noise in there. Maybe some light graffiti. And maybe take off the light graffiti. Let's add in some green. Yeah, there we go. That green's gonna be a little hard though, so let's let's uh, drop the contrast down a little. There we go. It's all about kind of playing with things, you know what I mean? Uh, this one right here, this no sinker. This one, you'll notice there's you don't see anything just yet, but basically you can adjust the horizontal sink. Uh, loop the clip, so you'll see the bottom of the screen's kind of in a different spot there. So now we have our horizontal zinc sink off as well, which I think is pretty cool. Now, one thing I really wish for this particular uh, item here is that it, you could actually uh, keyframe it, because that would be really nice. That's actually one thing I want to suggest for the next update is to um, make that key frameable. But I might look into the code here and actually see if, if there's a way that I can actually just patch the code in from one that is key frameable and see if I can work that into no sinker and you know kind of fork it that way. But as it is, I think it's coming out pretty well. a little bit of stutter there but you know my machine is probably about four or five years old some of the parts are even closer to about seven or eight uh, especially my hard drive my, my hard drive is definitely eight years old or my, my SSD is about that old um, so yeah and there's of course, there's of course your basics your speed your smart blur uh, some different types of effects here, which are pretty nice. But now that we're, we're done here, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and render this out. This is, uh, this is, what, a 15 second clip here, done in 1080p. So let's go ahead and render this out. Um, now, you might see, you might see it look a little like this. Let's go ahead and stop that. Um, that's, that's pretty 
general. Um, for the most part, usually I go MP4. Um, of course, you can do ultra high definition, old de uh, old TV definitions, audio, uh, lossless high quality. You can also export as image sequences, just like you would with any high end program there. So we'll go with the MP4 here, the generic HD for mo for web and mobile devices. Uh, go with the more options. We're not going to worry about rescaling or anything like that. We're just going to make sure we export the audio. Well, not that we need it. We don't have any audio to go with this, but go ahead and render the file. Oops. And might want to put a different name here. We should probably put this into the tutorial folder here that we have. So A's test screen. There we go. Render to file. And uh, FFM, sorry, FFmpeg may take a second to uh, start. And uh oh, all right. So we got the rendering finished. We have a lot of different effects going on, so it took a little longer than I anticipated there. But we did manage to get that done. So let's go ahead and take a look and see what our image does look like. Now we did have a couple of crashes, unfortunately. Um, I guess the wave effect has a compatibility issue with one of these other items here. So I just turned that off and I was able to go ahead and get that rendered. But yeah, let's go ahead and see what we got here. All right, well, I hope you guys learned something. I know I definitely learned something there. Um, you know, some, sometimes when you do throw a lot of effects on, even with the professional grade um, uh, programs out there like Premiere Pro or Sony Vegas or anything like that, um, it can definitely crash your rendering engine. Um, so it's not it's not necessarily anything negative about Kaden Live, but um, you know, it is it is a free program. It works. It does what it needs to do. I love it. It does everything that it, I really need it to do. Um, but yeah, if you like the video, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. If you really liked it, go ahead and subscribe. It'll definitely let me know that uh, I'm doing the right thing, and it'll help me push out more content there for you guys. But uh, otherwise, you know, if you think there's something else I could do to improve my my uh, my presentation. You know, go ahead and let me know down in the comments as well, because in the end, my content is for you guys. So you guys uh, take care, stay safe, and uh, peace out. This has been Ace.